that Canada beat the States. Mission accomplished. Let's go home. What are you talking about, man? They still got to play Russia for gold. Put your game face on. Re oh, sorry. Okay, game face. You're weird. Canada wins 4-1 to one against the United States in the United States. A little bit of redemption. But remember, it's not redemption because the States beat Canada last year. It's redemption because they beat them for gold. Eyes on the prize, fellas. It's not over yet. But it felt like a gold medal game before it started. The Canadian fans wildly outnumbering the Americans. And it seems every game so far, there's been an early goal either for or against Canada. Luckily, this time it was four. You don't want to fall behind to the Americans and Jack Campbell. He's got the experience. He's got the hot glove. Most importantly, he's got the gold. But banging away at it, chaos in the crease. Curtis Hamilton bangs one in, puts Canada up 1-0. He's quickly becoming one of my favorite Canadian World Juniors. How many times am I going to say that? They're all my favorite. And on top of that goal, Canada made the ice look like a mosh pit early on. Body chicken. Slamming to the hell. Jeez. Oh. That's why I'm not on the team. Let's lie down for a second. Want me to take this over for you, bud? No, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. So Canada's physical presence really felt. Who gets a video making injury? And Mark Vicentine. Critics, anyone? No, it can continue? Okay. It's a cliche, but he was handling the puck like a third defenseman. Welcome to Vicentine's. How can we serve you? And one of those tasty feeds makes its way up ice to Brett Connolly, streaking down the right side on a three on two. Another tasty dish to Quentin Howden. That's a goal. Beautiful tip, and for those of you keeping score, that's a 2-0 Canada lead. And that's the lead they would take into the intermission, cautious optimism. But in the second period, Mark Vicentine, Canada, shut down the states. You can't have this puck, it's my puck. And at some point, defense leads to offense. Ryan Johansson finds a loose puck, knocks it in, 3-0 Canada. Remember I said he'd be good? Yeah. Now Canada leads 3-0, and all three of their goals so far are quote-unquote garbage goals. And I love this because apparently this year's Canadian World Junior Team, not supposed to be as skilled as ones before. But there's no pretty goals column. Doesn't matter how you get it done, you just get it done. And in the third period, on the breakaway, Zach Cassian puts the icing on the cake. Or as we say in Canada, putting the syrup on the back bacon. No, we don't. It sounds delicious, though. Chris Brown gets one for the States, but that's as close as they would get. Canada wins 4-1. to one. And with the States having such a good, such a talented group this year, I think a lot of people thought this game would be closer. I did. And so with the win, Canada is rejoicing. They were looking for revenge, and they got it, and it felt great. So after losing 6-3 to Canada in their first game of the World Juniors, imagine how the Russians feel. After all, after losing 2-0, getting shut out by Sweden, they got their revenge on them. They've had to make comebacks, so has Canada. Critics were all over the Russians and they were all over Canada. Most importantly, the Russians want gold, and so does Canada. Nobody calls it the silver medal game. So let me know what you think about Canada's victory over the States. Who did you like on Canada? And you know what? Give them props. Who did you like on the States? I gotta go with Jack Campbell. And if you've been watching Russia, if you've been watching their comebacks, give me a scouting report. What do you see in this team that's different from the last time they played Canada? Because this one's for all the marbles. Marbles made of gold! See you in Buffalo.